This is the S&P 500 one day reading for June 5th, 2023. It's currently April 17th, 2023, 8.16 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the shuffle file we're about to play for the June uh, 5th reading was created on February 26, 2023 at 10.21 p.m. Eastern Time. That's this file right here. And the overall theme and behavior for the day, uh, the Magus card is one of those cards that could go in either direction. I think we probably have a bit of a mixed day here. Um, we start with a uh, important trough and a bit of a decline in the pre-market. Um, around the open, there's a big move to the upside, pushing the upper end of a range higher. Uh, possibly temporarily establishing support around um, a peak or crest, and then we sell uh, we sell pretty notably uh, downward between 10 and 11 to to support level on a one day scale that we rotate sideways. Um, there's a there's a move higher through to resistance. We um, resistance is highlighted uh, between 11 and 12. Resistance that we have come up against many times before and failed to break through. It looks like we break through momentarily midday. We stay above it briefly, and then we have a full retracement of the move higher that went through it. We have a full retracement that moved back down uh, through that price level. Um, a, a, multi, a decline through multiple support levels between roughly off of that peak or crest. Um, decline through multiple support levels on a one day scale, somewhere around one to two. And then, and then we have a notable move higher between roughly two and three, where we we temporarily um, established support where which was once resistance. It's now support. It's kind of it's it's a little unclear at the very end of the day, but there's a low correlation at the end of the day. After meeting up an overbought peak or crest, we sell off to a to a prominent trough. Difficult to determine if that's going to be a low or if it's just going to be a trough because the theme card is the Magus, you know, it could go either direction. But I'd say um, we, we have a peak midday that we might revisit. Uh, I mean, we might have it at the beginning of the day, too, but we definitely have it midday. Um, and then they're selling from there off of it kind of like mixed behavior with price swings and sideways rotation in the post market. Uh, behavior around the highest high, we have a U-shaped dip. So probably two peaks in other words, U-shaped dip that forms near the intersection of two perpendicular diagonal trend lines. And the lowest low forms after a brief peak that's easily missed from which we sell off. And there's really a, a likelihood of a low at the end of the day, actually. I'm feeling pretty strongly that we have a low at the end of the day after a notable decline in the last hour. <clears throat> uh, in any case, that's the S&P 500 for June 5th, 2023. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Most importantly, make sure to follow that rule of karma. As always, you do that here on the resources tab. 5% of the profits back to the channel. 5% of the profits for each one of these charities. Leaves you with 90% of the profits to spend. Make sure you spend it out of love. The universe is going to send it back to you tenfold from all directions. I'll see you guys on the next one.